Hi guys, tonight I wanted to share with you my Christmas setup in my Kate Spade black personal size zipper planner. I absolutely adore this planner. I purchased it at a Kate Spade outlet. They are not available at the regular Kate Spade stores. You do have to purchase them at an outlet. Um, I received a sticker subscription kit from Pot Fizz Paper and I will link her shop below. It is on Etsy and it was adorable. This was her December monthly kit and I did do an unboxing video on this so I'll link that below and I absolutely fell in love with it. The colors were beautiful and it made me really think about my black Kate Spade because of the black and the fuchsia colors that were in it. So I ended up setting up this planner all around this specific kit. So I am going to show you how I set it up. The first thing I have is on my zipper pull. I have this gorgeous snowflake keychain. This was from the Pop Fizz monthly collection as well. It came with the stickers and these are created by Danny. I totally love this keychain. Now for those of you that watch my other setups, I always keep my Kate Spade unzipped on the top. Even if I don't have paper clips and ribbons coming out, I still like to keep it unzipped. I usually do not have any problems with anything coming out. I do put these in my tote bag and my purse. This is my travel planner and I love it. Um, there will be paper clips and ribbons popping out of this soon. They are on their way. So I set this up in stages, but this is the main setup and I wanted to share it with you. So we're gonna just unzip it and I'm going to open it up and I will zoom in so we can take a closer look. This is the inside of the planner. I'm gonna show you everything that I did on the left side in the pockets and we're gonna go through the inserts as well so I can show you my dividers and how I have everything set up. The first paper clip I have here is from Cute by Design on Etsy. I will link all the shops that I mentioned below so you can check them out and look at the gorgeous sparkle in this fox. I love it. Now I do have a second paper clip. This one is from uh, Kawaii Sugar and Spice, also on Etsy. It is so cute and it is a shaker paper clip and look at how gorgeous the sparkle is on that. I love this one as well. And since this whole setup, um, rotated around the Pop Fizz Paper Penguin stickers. I really liked this paper clip as well. Now I can't decide between the two, so what I've been doing is I've been rotating back and forth between the two. I think they both look cute and they're both great. I have a tendency to lean towards the shaker one, but guys, put your opinion down in the comments. I'd love to hear which one you like better. Both of them are gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, the next paper clip I have is this felt paper clip. I love it, it's embroidered. This is by Shining Stars Boutique on Etsy, and I'm really, really getting into the felt paper clips. I love them. Now, as you can see, I don't really clip the paper clip onto the pocket, maybe because the Kate Spade is new, and I don't wanna make paper clip indentations, but I usually just slide them right in the pocket, and I don't have any problems with these falling out. When this is closed and zippered, everything kinda holds well together and I toss it in my purse and I don't have any problems. Okay, the next thing I have is this gorgeous snowflake paper clip that was also in the Pop Fizz Paper monthly December collection. I have this pink paper bow clip. Now this here, if you see the end of it, it had a piece that kind of stuck out and I just used my pliers to make it flat so that it would slide in the pocket without harming any of the leather, so really like that. Here is the sampler sheet that came with the Pop Fizz Paper collection. I love these colors so much. They made me really think about how well it would go with the black and the fuchsia pink of the Kate Spade. So that's why I set up this planner completely around this kit. It just worked out and I really liked it. And I was not really sure how I was gonna decorate it for Christmas, so it really worked out. Down here I have Target page flags. I know a lot of you planner girls know these gorgeous page flags and I thought these went really well and I do plan on using them. On the bottom here I have another Target post-it note that a friend of mine gave me as well as these 
from Instagram. She's really sweet. She sent them to me and I love them. Here is one of the penguin stickers. It was right here on the sheet. It was the first sticker I used. I couldn't help it. It was so cute. This plan paper clip is from Willow Fields on Etsy. I will link that below as well. It came in my Planner Society monthly subscription box. I love that subscription box. It's my favorite. And these stickers here are what I'm going to be using for this week. So basically what I do is I just tuck them in this pocket here. I like to have them on hand so if I'm out somewhere and I'm planning I do have them so I'm really happy with the way this side came out it's really secure nothing is loose it doesn't fall out when I close it up okay we're gonna go on to the inside of the planner this here is my dashboard and I have a few things going on here the first thing is this winter checklist it's a project life car I just hole punched it and I added another one of the pop fizz paper paper clips on there the snowflake paper clip I love that and I added a rhinestone for detail I love this winter checklist I'm actually gonna put down here everything that I hope to accomplish before the end of December and I really love that and in the back here I have a piece of ephemera that says peace on earth and I thought this was really meaningful especially with what's been happening around the world lately it's been really scary and I wanted a reminder that hopefully one day we can have peace on earth I really liked it a lot and I added it in my dashboard paper is from Me and My Big Ideas. It was actually last year's winter collection. It's called Walking in a Winter Wonderland. Now I keep a fly leaf over my dashboard. As you can see, it protects it. And I keep two paper clips to hold it together. These are my peach palm paper clips. She is also on Etsy. I adore these felt paper clips. They are my absolute favorite and they're perfect for the Kate Spade because they do not stick out over the top if you're worried about that. I am going to just flip this and as you can see I also have a flare button that says December here. I'm going to open up the rings and I'm going to show you the dashboard up close because look it has foil on it and I absolutely adore that and I just loved all the words on it joy peace cheer jolly merry bright really really fun wording on there and the little trees so I really like that a lot so I just keep that in there I close my rings I take both of these pieces together and I like it to be all clipped together so that I can get to the sections that I need to quickly so I keep those clipped on the top and basically I can now flip this and go directly to my monthly inserts now just so that you know all my monthly inserts are from so much crafting I will link her below as well these are the month of December totally love these now I did have or I still do have an ear infection and a, a sinus infection this is the clearest that I've sounded in days and it's just because I just took my medicine in about half an hour I'm gonna sound terrible again so I wanted to squeeze this video in as quickly as I can and the mention of being sick is so that I can explain my little stickers here I cut these on my silhouette they're little thermometers and little pills so that I can remember to take my medicine and I was running a fever several days so it was going back and forth I do have the numbers recorded I just haven't written them down I would like to keep track of that just for my record keeping of my health I like to keep track of everything that happens to me so the next time I get sick I will know these cute little Instagram stickers are from Lily Henry and for those of you that use the personal so much crafting monthly inserts these Instagram uh, stickers from Lily Henry are perfect. You want to make sure you order the small size. And again, guys, I will link everybody uh, down below that I mentioned. So in case you want to look into those shops, you will be able to find them. I love the way this came out. Um, I haven't filled anything out yet, but mainly I'm going to keep this from my social media, things that I do on Instagram, videos that I record, and that's what I'm going to do for those. My first tab here is a weekly tab. Now I have a file that I found on a blog 
online for cutting my tabs, uh, my dividers on my Silhouette machine. I will link that file below. I really like it because it's super simple. Um, I had this uh, Project Life card that says no peeking. <laughs> I think it's really cute. And what I like about it is um, if I have anything that I want to keep private under here, I can add a post-it note and keep this on it that says no peeking. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Okay, so my first tab is my weeklies. Um, again, all these inserts are from So Much Crafting. I'm gonna turn to my current week. I love it. Again, the kit from Pop Fizz Paper. It just worked so great in here. I did add a couple of It's Planning Time stickers like the scallop boxes and the plates down at the bottom. And the tree washi tape is from Planner Kate. So I love this color combination of the green and the fuchsia pink and the blues. I love it. And that's why I set up my planner to really focus around this whole kit. I also love the countdown stickers that are little snow globes. Super adorable. Okay, my next tab is my to-do tab. I love this bright blue and that's where these paper clips come in as far as the fox and also the penguin one I thought worked really well with that. That's why I think both of the paper clips are great for that. Now this one here is a cute little white penguin. Now a lot of you may recognize this. I am a pen gems freak, which are these crystal pens right here, which I absolutely adore. I love these pens. They are gorgeous. Pictures of them do them no justice. They have the cute little gem on top. When you order from Angel at Pen Gems, she always includes this penguin paper clip with your order in different colors. I found this white one and I just wanted to put it here because it looked so, so cute. And this is anything that is a list or to do. Now, because I was sick, I didn't have these filled out for this month so far. I usually don't fill these out unless I have a really busy day coming out uh, or coming up. And because I was sick and I didn't have a lot going on, I didn't have anything that I have recorded for the month of December. That is probably going to change this week because I am feeling better. Okay, my next tab is my food tab. I love these snowflakes. Really, really pretty. Again, this paper is from Me and My Big Ideas, Walking in a Winter Wonderland. Love that. Now, the only thing I don't like is the back of the paper was Project Life Cards, and I didn't notice this right away when I did it. Um, but that's okay because the fun part of setting up a planner is it's kind of a work in progress. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. I like to do things in stages. It's early on in December and actually it's not really that early. It's going by really quickly. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I feel like Christmas is like tomorrow and I'm panicking about it. But um, I like for this to be a work in progress. So this is something that I'll do over the next couple of weeks is I'll cover that up. It's not a big deal. And on my food tab, I keep my menu of things we're going to eat for the week and my grocery shopping list. And again, it's a to-do tab, so it also has my get it done list. Now these are blank. I have my filled out ones off to the side just because they're kind of personal and I write a lot of notes in them. And I just wanted you to get guys to see the actual inserts. Oh, well, there's a filled out one. Really nothing too crazy. I do not decorate my grocery list or my menu. Now my next tab, I love this one. Look at this gorgeous foil paper. Is that not like phenomenal or what? Oh, I love it. This is my post tab for my pen pal tracking and addresses. And I love this section. Um, again, these are from So Much Crafting. Here I have a Mary Note Project Life card. I am really big in collecting specific Project Life cards. I do uh, Project Life as well. So I have a big collection and I love having very theme oriented uh, Project Life cards or Project Life cards that really go back to what, you know, segment in your planner you're in. So since we're in the post, I want a merry note in case I have to send somebody a note or a card, I will list it here. 
These are my addresses. The address that's on this one is hidden under this card. I like to keep track of if somebody sends me a package and if I send it back so this way I don't lose track. And this says thanks a whole lot because I just received a package so I wanted it to be secretive. I love this donut. It is adorable. Okay, and then I have my address inserts where I keep everybody's address. My next tab is holiday. And here I just have favorite holiday eats. I'm going to list all the things we like to do um, to eat for the holidays. And then I have the So Much Crafting Christmas inserts. And yes, guys, I do not have my countdown done. I will be doing that this week. Again, like I said, guys, this is a work in progress. I don't want to rush and do everything at one time. It kind of takes the fun out of it. I want to be able to work on this um, throughout the month. Now here is another monthly insert. I purchased my monthly inserts that were in the front separately, but the kit does come with December. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use this yet, but this is going to be the first thing I do tomorrow. And I'm going to be filling this out, which is like travel plans, cards to send. I have lots of notes written down in a notebook and I'm going to transfer them over to this. I have gift ideas that are all going to be filled out tomorrow as well and holiday fun. And then this last tab is probably my favorite with these gorgeous snowflakes. Again, it ties back to the two clips so you can see where the blue, I pulled in the blue for this theme. Love this paper so much. And on the back, I have our December story. I figured I want to put down what we did for December or any kind of activity that's special for December besides Christmas. And in my miscellaneous section, I just have notes, birthdays and anniversaries. These are empty because my filled out ones I like to keep separate. Sorry guys, they're a little personal and I tend to be picky about what I show nowadays and I'm sure you guys understand that. So here are these inserts. And then in the back pocket, I don't put a lot. I don't want it to be too bulky. I like to keep room for my front since I really go all out with my pockets in the front of the planner. So in the back of the planner, I don't keep much, but I do have my Peanuts Charlie Brown postage stickers. I love these. And this is in case I go to the post office and I need to mail something quickly like a card and I have a missing stamp or I, you know, do a last minute note to somebody at the post office while I'm standing there. I've been known to do that. I can just pull this out. I can flip to my addresses, look up the person I want to send the note to, fill it out right at the post office and get it all done and send it on its way. So that is everything guys. When I close Close my planner, it's pretty easy. I just grasp everything all at once, just like that. And I pull the two sides up and I zipper it closed. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, this is a work in progress, so I will be changing things. I have some tassel clips that are coming. I have some other clips that are coming, but I will show you guys the additions that I make to this. I have an Instagram account. Follow me guys if you're not so that you can keep up with all the changes that I make inside this planner. And I also have several other planners that I set up for Christmas. I have a red Kate Spade and I have a gold Kiki K in the large size. I will be setting those up and using them for the month of December as well. And I would like to share those too. So keep an eye out for those videos coming out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!